In this video, we're going to look at how to get the URL with JavaScript of the current page that you're browsing. So getting the current URL with JavaScript is pretty easy. All we need to do is access the window.location.href property, and that will give you a string of the URL that you're currently browsing to. So that's pretty straightforward if that's all you need. But if you actually want to get things like the hostname or the protocol, or even the path of the web page that you're accessing, then it can start to get a bit tricky because then you'll either need to split that string based on some kind of rule or use a regex to work out what parts of the string correspond to what parts of the URL. And if you head on over to the business page on Google, you'll see the URL that you're browsing to is actually huge and splitting that up using JavaScript split and replace functions is no mean feat. So a nice little tip is that you can actually pass the window.location.href string into a particular object constructor which will do all that hard work of breaking down the string into different parts of the URL for you. And the object you need to construct is a URL object. And what that actually gives you back is an object that has all of that information broken down for you. So here you can see we've got things like the host or the host name, and we've got the origin, which is the host name with a protocol as well. And we've also got the path name, so we're on a page called forward slash services at the moment. And also we've got all of those URL params which come after the question mark in the actual overall URL. And finally we've got the hash, which is everything after the hash symbol in the URL, which is usually used to direct you to a certain part of the page based on the ID of a HTML element. So that's pretty much it. If you want to get the URL of your page, you use window.location.href. Of course, you're not limited to using the URL object with the current web page that you're browsing to. You can pass in any string that you like and the URL object will try and parse that and give you back the different parts of the URL as an object. So that's pretty much it. If you want to get the current URL in JavaScript, you basically use window.location.href. But if you want to access a specific part of that, you're probably best off using the URL constructor to make a new object, which will provide you with access to the different parts of the URL that you can use within your code. 